at um, our place in Japan. What do we have to offer? Why are we here? What, as foreigners who are church planters, what's our role? Um, we keep coming back to um, the idea that we want to offer something different. I think to sum up, church planting in Japan is it's setting people free. And some people are just so bound by the culture that it's incredibly long process and very difficult to set them free. A huge encouragement to us to have people that we feel like at least to some degree understand what we're doing and share our vision. But I love to sit back and watch and see Japanese believers taking apart and to know that I helped them by encouraging them and by saying, I know you can do this, or just being there to tell them, you're doing great, and encouraging them to do more. And then when I see them succeed, I sort of feel like it's my success. もう絶対に絶対にあると思う。そして北九州から。北九州から<笑> で、今までもちろん聖書を読むといろんな歴史があって、もちろんリバイバルが難しい時期とかもあった。神様のことを信じることが難しい時期もあったけど、だけど絶対に神様は日本に働いてくださってるって信じてます。I think we can complement each other. I think that's maybe the future of Japan in a sense what we as missionaries can do is helping uh, the Japanese pastors, working with them and then help, hopefully they'll be doing more of the church planting than we will. Uh, there are many Japanese pastors actually who have a vision to reach out and do church planting themselves. Before it was always left up to the missionary and if the missionary didn't start it, it often didn't get done. But that's changed pretty radically. Uh, there are some exciting things going on. I think there's a future. I think uh, people talk about Japan being very difficult and it is difficult. It takes time. But I also see a real future. If God's telling you to come to Japan, then you better come because God hadn't given up on Japan. I think He's still got something special in store for uh, Japan.